Lauren. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your Uncle Splore and Ryan coming to you from the beautiful city of Celebration, Florida. That's it. Uh, formerly, kind of, the home of the mouse. Yeah. Uh, no longer, as I understand it. No, it started in 98, and I'm not sure when they lost that whole, uh, that whole thing, but... It's a whole new world, and speaking of a whole new world, World of Micah joining us. Hello. Uh, I'm technically I'm joining you because you've been here longer than me. Uh, yeah, we just, Abby and I, for a long time, anytime we found a car show, we would go. And um, I'm not a huge exotic car fan, but I do love DeLoreans, and they do have some classic cars here, and movie cars. I understand there's like 13 DeLoreans, or something to that effect. There's an entire room. row. It's amazing. And like, none of them are time machines, so that's, to me, like, really cool to see them bare. Like a real DeLorean. Yes. And there is a De uh, DeLorean time machine here for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. I'm sure there has to be. Yep. There absolutely has to be. Uh, by the way, if, if you haven't done so already, Join us today as we do just a little spoiling. Celebration Car Show. This is the Celebration Exotic Car Show. Uh, they do this once every year. I've been to this one time before. Uh, it, it gets a little bit bigger every year. It really takes up the whole town. Uh, I was hoping this gentleman was going to steal uh, this Ferrari uh, and really make a heck of a video, but uh, alas. Don't get me wrong. There's still plenty of things to see here. There's a lot of people who are bringing out these just amazing cars. There are people who have uh, dogs trying to stay in the shade. Lots of dogs walking around. Uh, there are a lot of Ferraris. This is an entire row of Ferraris. I didn't count them, but I would say just a, a quick glance. I'm going to say probably about uh, 30, 35 Ferraris right here on this street alone. And uh, there are, I assure you, multiple streets. Now, as I said, this is Celebration Florida. Celebration Florida, just outside of the Disney World area here in the southern part of uh, Orlando, uh, just above Kissimmee, just below Orlando, in that uh, whole Lake Buena Vista area. It is a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, I've, I've had you here before. If you were a longtime subscriber, you already know this area. This is uh, the area that they were filling with uh, snow, uh, that sort of soap snow area uh, from Christmas time. Uh, right, uh, right behind me is the uh, Market Cornerstone Deli. This is one of my favorite places, actually, in, in the entire world. To get a good old cup of coffee, they do a New Orleans uh, chicory roasted coffee, but uh, that's not really why we're here. What we're here for is stuff kind of like that. Now, in a world of Lamborghinis and Time Machine DeLoreans, this area is not quite as uh, populated but to me, uh, that is actually part of the charm of this area. Uh, I want you to take a look at the Corvette engine that is inside of this particular uh, not-so-Corvette beast. Now, let's go ahead right off the bat and acknowledge the elephant in the room. I am not what you would call a car guy. Uh, I am, as I've said so many times before, from the northeastern city of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we were uh, a Ford town and a Chevy town. We had plants producing Chevys, plants producing Fords. The Mustang was actually uh, out of my <laughs> neck of the woods. Have a lot of uh, in-laws that produce Mustangs to this day. Uh, but I never really got bit by the bug. I can appreciate them, 
but in terms of you know, learning about them, learning about the specs, uh, getting really into that stuff, not really my deal. It's more of a uh, appreciate from afar type thing. So uh, all this to tell you, I will probably say a few things today that will just uh, drive real car people irate. Uh, if what I'm saying offends you, at any given point, the worst way to punish me for my ignorance is to hit the thumbnail, uh, the, the, the thumbs up down below, and leave a comment about uh, what I should have said. Yep, that's, that's how to show me. I would, of course, be remiss if I didn't show my favorite piece of architecture in all of uh, Central Florida, right here at the Merrill Lynch uh, Bank of America building. Uh, I have shown this before. I absolutely love this. Although it does look like there's something going on here. They, they have some, uh, looks like some ratchet straps and some ropes hanging down this, uh, this time. I am curious if they may be getting ready to do some sort of refurbishment. Of course, to find out uh, an answer to that, I should probably see if I could find uh, a resident of this whole celebration area and ask them. One of the most difficult parts about filming here uh, today would be the fact that the music really is loud. Uh, I do not monetize my videos, so uh, the nice thing about doing that is even though I miss uh, a little bit of money here and there, uh, I do not have to worry about having my video uh, flagged for demonetization when the music gets loud, but I do still have to talk over it. Uh, the other hard part of filming down here would be there are some amazing restaurants on either side of us and filming with the smell of steak and pizza and uh, fresh seafood is, is no easy task, I assure you. And speaking of residents of the celebration area, uh, joining us, or me joining him, since again, he's this is his turf, uh, Adam the Wu, uh, this is your neck of the woods. Maybe you have an answer for me. I was pointing out my favorite piece of architecture in celebration, of course, that being the, uh, the Merrill Lynch and Bank of America building. It looks like there's some ratchet straps and ropes that are on it right now. Do you know if they are going to do some some changes to it, perhaps? I don't really know. There was someone out there the other day doing something, but I, I need to walk over there and look. I forgot that they were doing something out there, so I don't know. Interesting. It's also not a trip of celebration if I don't at one point trip over these sprinkler systems that I really wish they would bury. You, uh, you have my word, though. If I'm filming on a trip over one of them, I will leave the footage in. Because, my friends, I do believe that no matter how old you get, there is nothing Quite as funny as watching a grown man truck. This is interesting. It is the Smoothie Bar Market. And they got a lot of uh, beachy tchotchkes. Do they actually have smoothies? It looks like they do. In addition to all of this stuff, they are also going to sell uh, smoothies and acai bowls, or acai bowls, if you want to pronounce it correctly. And as you know, any place that serves acai bowls is a place that uh, is too good for riffraff like me. Looking across the street, I see this black uh, Ferrari over here, which uh, certainly strikes a chord with me. This was more the style when I was younger. This is when, when I got old enough to actually acknowledge cars, uh, this was the style. So this is definitely bringing me way back. There were quite a few cars at the time. Very popular uh, in this general flattened style. Kind of gorgeous, but they don't make them like this anymore. So Adam just stumbled across uh, this area. Not only is it quieter, which is quite nice, but these are definitely a little bit more unusual. I'm I'm not a car guy, Adam. Would you call yourself a car guy by any means? I drive a car. That's 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 about the extent uh, with me as well. Um, these these of course look a little bit more. Inspired by the European tradition, of course, they're the Ferraris. They are all Italian, but uh, I kind of like this. This this reminds me of the Prowler, or maybe the Prowler reminds me of this one. Of course, this is a little bit more uh, what I'm used to these days uh, when the Ferraris come by. Orlando is actually a pretty big Ferrari city. We, at any given moment, have quite a few of these, which is one of the nice things about being in a city that stays relatively uh, relatively warm and uh, sunny throughout the year. I also can't help but notice this particular vehicle right here. I'm not entirely sure what is going on with this Toyota, but there is, however, a very large teddy bear on the top. Uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, 
Royal Caribbean cruises where they'd have a fancy car with a giant teddy bear. In this case, the teddy bear doesn't look comfortable, but it does remain a teddy bear nonetheless. I'm giving you a better look now at the, uh, the cables and the ratchet straps up there. They're definitely doing something, but I cannot quite tell what it is. Hopefully, they're not going to change the structure. Seventies, lower eighties here, uh, but just warm enough to uh, go iced on the caffeinated uh, goodness that I am mainlining directly into my veins, uh, straight from the New Orleans based deli, Florlis. Um, it's good stuff. Paul from American Chopper uh, pulling in right now. It's funny, get this shot pretty much every year. Uh, <laughs> year after year, I get the same shot. But here he goes. Uh, that's that's not him up front, of course. Uh, although, you know, far be it for me to judge. Uh, she has very nice hair. And with that, they push everything back into place. And Paul takes off into the back of his red-headed friend. Kind of funny, immediately uh, we heard the we heard the rumble of his chopper before we saw him. And all of us knew that was Paul. What can I say? We are all creatures of habit. I'm going to show my ignorance here. I was not aware that there was a. Uh, I was not aware that there was an SUV Lamborghini, but uh, you know, there it is. Absolutely spectacular! Look at this. It is a 2012 Riley MK22. What does that mean? I don't know, but I like it. Every year when I'm here, they've got uh, DeLoreans lined up down here. And the cool thing about some of these DeLoreans is they are the classic DeLoreans that uh, have not been turned into uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Now, when you live in a town like we do here in Orlando, there are a lot of Back to the Future DeLoreans floating around. And these are kind of cool to see the, uh, the virgin, unadulterated, original DeLoreans. Right over here, we have the movie cars. There's always... Uh, a few movie cars that they bring out. This year it looked like they brought more than usual and they've got a they've got a few movie stars coming out with them. Uh, let's see what we can let's see what we can find out about which cars they brought out this year. Crowd building up over here and that usually means that someone has arrived. Uh, I think it's just Paul from uh, American Choppers again over here by the Bohemian Hotel. Uh, looks like he has brought his chopper over in front of the hotel itself. Yes, that is in fact Paul. This is the Bohemian Hotel, uh, by the way. Uh, Celebration Hotel it used to be the Bohemian. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's the only hotel downtown. Beautiful place. Uh, they do get quite a few celebrities staying here. It's a little, little bit of an urban and a little bit of a beach uh, hotel combined. Downtown Celebration. When did they turn this uh, away from the Bohemian? It's the Celebration right Hotel now. They dropped the Bohemian. Okay. It used to be the Bohemian Celebration. Now they changed it. Do you know if it's related to the Bohemian downtown? Or it was? Okay. I'm striking out here today. Actually, it looks like right now uh, Paul is speaking with uh, one of the gentlemen from uh, yeah, uh, a particular, particular celebrity. Uh, this one from Armageddon. Uh, it's kind of hard to see his face. But Lord knows I'm trying for you, folks. That would be uh, Bill Fickner. Fitchner. I, candidly, I've never really known how to pronounce that correctly because I've heard it both ways. 
But uh, yeah, he's here throughout the entire weekend too. I don't believe he's come with a car. I may be wrong about that. I just heard no connection to any of the cars themselves. He is just appearing here this weekend. And while they're doing that, it gives us a good chance to get a good photo uh, and a good shot, excuse me, of uh, Hall's chopper that he brought. I don't know if this is the same one that I've seen before. This, this looks different than what I've seen before. Uh, Bill continues to take some selfie shots with uh, some adoring fans. Right over here. I'm going to see if I can get a quick shot in there. Uh, one of the best. Good. That sons of a man, I can break him back, brother. Yeah, my best buddy's in Is he really? The guy who played Tig? Yes. Tim okay. Coates. Yes, okay. Bill, would you, would you mind if I got a quick hello with you? Ready? All right, man. Enjoy <laughs> celebration. Yeah, thank you so much. All ooing and on over the bike, and I am just blown away by this big uh, mastiff down here. I believe Adam is taking a gorilla photo. This is incredible, though. This gentleman over here uh, is, is a celebrity of some sort, but off the top of my head, I cannot place him. Driving me nuts, actually. The Celebration Hotel, also uh, formerly known as the Bohemian. Beautiful view from the back of the, uh, the hotel. As you can see, we got a, a large pond. Uh, we just saw a giant turtle that I mistook for an alligator uh, because I'm blind without my glasses these days. And uh, I just want to point out, they've got this, this gorgeous outdoor restaurant over here uh, and, and some amazing art um, right here. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not seeing any plaque about it, but uh, I know this, this area was very big with the Seminole tribe. I'm just assuming it has something to do with that. To add even more vehicles to the lineup here at the Celebration Hotel, while Paul continues to sign autographs and take photos with his bike, to quote uh, to quote our buddy Adam over there, this has become quite the beehive of activity. Right here, someone has their dog in a is that a Ferrari stroller? So. Spot, Spot is a vlogger then, huh? Yeah, it's a YouTube channel. Yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, that's Spot the Fantastic Dog. We're, we're going to go ahead and put a link to Spot yes, the Fantastic please. Dog we right above here. here. And he's the manager. And, and, and the manager right here. This is this is the business folks right yes, here. exactly. You don't get to him yes. if you don't go through him. Yes, exactly. Of course, you cannot have DeLoreans if you do not have a Back to the Future style DeLorean, which you can see right here. Um, I, I have definitely seen... Uh, many <laughs> lesser versions of this. This is a, a pretty reasonable facsimile right here. Uh, and I, uh, of course, enjoy the hoverboard that is connected to it. We're going to take a couple minutes to uh, pause, grab a quick bite to eat. Uh, I'm sure this young man over here, this young lady over here, young man, uh, would, would love uh, a little bit of what we're going to go get at a place called Avocados right up the street here. I am learning that Avocados, uh, the restaurant that we are uh, perusing the menu of right now, is on a limited menu today uh, thanks to the, uh, the the car show. It's a little loud. That's why I keep going. Uh, 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 it's hard to think, but I believe uh, there may be a Make-A-Wish donation as part of uh, our eating here. So really, uh, we are dining for the kids. As is so often the case, I am doing uh, buffalo wings this time around. Uh, looks like uh, Adam is doing the Mexican tacos. I believe that is the beef tacos. Uh, we have a quesadilla. Uh, this young man, of course, has excellent taste and will be going with buffalo wings as well. Did end up with a chips and salsa. This salsa is their extra hot, which is, I believe, uh, just kind of like ground up habanero pepper. It's, it's okay. Gonna level with you, it's not my thing. Once again, with full hearts and full bellies, we move back out of the avocado and head back out to the streets. As I understand, most of these cars that you see right here are about to get on the road and head over to be judged. The good kind of being judged, not the kind that I experienced in high school. Before we go to the judgment zone, I kind of want to point out the, uh, the Lotus uh, right here with the little mini on top. A beautiful car. 
pretty sure that the DeLoreans that you see over here are going to stay where they are. The movie cars down there over by the Celebration Hotel, those are going to stay there as well. But I think most of the cars uh, that are uh, on the streets otherwise will be heading off very shortly. And before we head down to the Judgment Zone, I want to point out one more time how beautiful it is to see some of these old DeLoreans here that have not been uh, turned into time machines. Uh, this is just pure, unadulterated 80s, uh, and it's so beautiful. I mean, just look at that. This Porsche over here for the 1.7 mile driving circuit, Circuit Florida. I believe this may be one of those things where you could sign up to, uh, to take a Porsche out for a spin. Uh, live the race car lifestyle for a minute. Kind of like that place I pointed out in my Murphy, North Carolina video that also uh, they, they, they take you out in a Porsche uh, but with, with them they take you up to like the tail of the dragon. Florida's a little bit more flat. The movie cars, by the way, brought to you by the Michael J. Fox uh, org. This is, uh, of course, raising money. Uh, I'm sure you all know about Michael's health problems and all the good that he has done over the years trying to raise more awareness and uh, not just awareness but uh, helping them come up with a cure. I want to show some of the vehicles. Obviously you've got the Back to the Future DeLorean over there. It is not the movie used uh, DeLorean but one of the promo ones. Uh, you've got of course a kit from Knight Rider over there. Uh, several other cars over here. I'm not entirely sure what all of them are, uh, candidly. I believe this is the one from Dumb and Dumber. That one over there, I believe, is Happy Days. The, the yellow with the, the flames. Right over there. <laughs> Mr. McDonald, how, how are you today? Good, thank you. Good. Yeah, take this. There you go. Did, did you get a little shooter in your life? Oh my gosh, it was awesome. <laughs> Kind of like, by the way, over here at Reggiano's, you can see the sign that's outside on the corner of the building. Absolutely love these old town signs. Look at the downtown diner sign. You know, nothing here is any older than, I want to say, 1994, but they do a good job of artificially aging it. Kill Wins, this is a uh, chocolate slash ice creamery. I believe uh, Adam went with a classic uh, mint chocolate chip. Uh, I am going to do a uh, mint chocolate chip slash coffee milkshake. And uh, I just want to point out that Grasshopper, uh, I guess it's an ice cream cake. It's a trio of mint, chocolate, and coffee flavors all in one delicious ice cream cake. Uh, that could make me very popular and uh, can get me in a lot of trouble at the same time. Stealing another atomism, if that's a thing. Uh, this is what I got. This is, this is what we're working with. This is what we're dealing with. This is the... Uh, this is my creation. This is a cappuccino chip slash uh, mint chocolate chip milkshake. Uh, I figured I'd skip the cone because uh, I'm messy enough as it is. And honestly, it's quite good. It's a little thick. I started this whole thing about 20 minutes ago. They have uh, paused everything while down the road, you can kind of see uh, the, the lights of a... Uh, it's a fire truck and an ambulance, both. Right over there, they just wheeled a stretcher into the Celebration Town Tavern. Not entirely sure what has happened down there, but uh, obviously it's a big enough deal that they have kind of paused everything right as the judging was all set to begin. They're attempting to bring some of the cars in, even though the ambulance and the fire truck are still over there. Uh, we can see uh, some of the Ferraris are starting to come through, including one of the ones that uh, I pointed out earlier from my childhood. It appears that the fire truck is still there, but the ambulance is pulling out. Uh, did also hear a smoke alarm in one of the buildings down there going off, which could be because a lot of these cars are revving and just spewing smoke out of the back end. Uh, I'm, not saying, I'm not sure that's what it is, but there's, there's something going on. As you can see, the ambulance is uh, driving out past the uh, Celebration Hotel right now. It looks like the fire truck is backing up. They're going to try to make it out the same way. And I still hear uh, the smoke alarm going off in one of these buildings over there. Uh, it's, it's that same smoke alarm you hear that usually has flashing lights with it. I can't tell which building it is, but as you can see, the fire truck is uh, steadily making its escape as well. Hopefully everybody is okay. Well, the fire truck actually seems to be stopping now. 
and people are getting out. Interesting. I kind of feel bad. A lot of these cars are coming through. This is this is the beginning of the parade of the uh, cars. You can see these cars are pulling through. They're announcing them. They're talking about them. They're they're talking to the owners. But uh, half the audience is still focused over there. Where the fire truck has stopped at uh, that that storefront. That is actually where we ate. That's avocados. Um, curious, since they stopped and ran in, if that fire alarm may actually be. Uh, well, for lack of a better word, real. As the uh, parade kind of really revs up, we're going to sneak down there and see what's going on with the fire truck. As you can see, a lot of the cars have actually started pulling out of this area already. I don't know if it's because they are lined up in the parade or if they were making more room for the, uh, the rescue vehicles over here. But either way, it's a lot more open than it was before. And by the way, this is, uh, this is the restaurant we ate at Avocados. Uh, this block over here is uh, where the firemen seem to have gone into. So I'm not sure if something's going on here or maybe they're just hungry. Now, I like all the cars, but I mean, if I had my pick of which one to take home. Yeah, the, uh, the truck is still parked here. The firemen uh, have gone in uh, over here. Haven't really come back out yet, but the, the fire alarm that was beeping before seems to have uh, ceased. And everybody at the Avocados restaurant, they seem pretty, pretty chill. I'm going to assume that nothing horrible is going on there. Uh, and, you know, the cars are pulling out over here. I suppose it is possible, maybe, that the alarm was going on uh, the hotel. Uh, hotels do have a uh, history of having alarms go off pretty easily because people smoke in bed, which is uh, a no-no. But uh, Kato, Kato Kalen, by the way. What's happening You start talking about the event. That's what we call a professional. Adam, Adam, where are you? Adam! My man's back again! The K train, the A train. Hop on now. Kato Kalen, Adam. La la la. la. Thank you. Good to see you as always. <laughs> Every, Every year. year. Every so, year you're here. I'm loving it. And I'm married that beautiful woman over there. Right. She's yeah, gorgeous. Wait, honey! She, she <laughs> says you are gorgeous. <laughs> The same. That's great. Fantastic hair, by the way, oh, sir. Well, kind of just went up today. You're the man of full of bits. I'm full You're of bits. You're the bit man. I'm the bit man. You're the bit man. I'm whatever called you that. Tell us what his car is. It's uh. It's getting a little late in the day. Going off on a high note? I, I think we're going to go off on a high note. Uh, there's cars, but I mean, after Cato. Yeah, after KC. Is it KC? Cato with the K? It, it's the Kato K train. The so, uh, K train. from Celebration, Florida. There's no reason to even attempt to find anything top that. From, from Celebration, Florida, alongside the A train. Uh, this is. <laughs> uh, did you get all that from your angle? Yeah, I did. I've got a video to send you later. Uh, we'll see you next time when we do just a little sport.